Hi, I'm Rocco Scano, and welcome to Read Out Loud on Kid Lit TV. Today, I am reading a book from my own personal collection. It's autographed. That means that the person who wrote or illustrated the book actually signed the inside. And the name of the book is called The Judge, an Untrue Tale by Harv Zemak, with pictures by Margot Zemak. They were husband and wife, and they did books together. And this book has this seal on it. It means it was an honor book for an award called the Caldecott Medal. And this fellow here on the cover is the judge. A judge is a person who sits at a bench and listens to people who have a disagreement and then they decide who is right and who is wrong. So let's see what the situation is in The Judge. And there's Margot Zemak's autograph and there's The Judge sitting at the bench. This is prisoner number one. Let justice be done. Look at him. Please let me go, Judge. I didn't know, Judge, that what I did was against the law. I just said what I saw. A horrible thing is coming this way, creeping closer day by day. Its eyes are scary. Its tail is hairy. I tell you, Judge, we all better pray. This man has told an untrue tale. Throw him in jail. This is prisoner number two. What did he do? Please let me go, judge. I didn't know, judge, that what I did was against the law. I just said what I saw. A horrible thing is coming this way. It's creeping closer day by day. Its eyes are scary. Its tail is hairy. Its pores have claws. And it snaps its jaws. I tell you, Judge, we all better pray. There must be something wrong with his brains. Put him in chains. This is prisoner number three. A scoundrel, I see. Please let me go, Judge. I didn't know, Judge, that what I did was against the law. I just said what I saw. A horrible thing is coming this way, creeping closer day by day. Its eyes are scary. Its tail is hairy. Its paws have claws. And it snaps its jaws. It growls and it groans. And it chews up stones. I tell you, Judge, we all better pray. Lock him up and throw away a key. He can't fool me. This is prisoner number four. Have I seen her before? Please let me go, Judge. I didn't know, Judge, that what I did was against the law. I just said what I saw. A horrible thing is coming this way. It's creeping closer day by day. Its eyes are scary. Its tail is hairy. Its paws have claws. And it snaps its jaws. It growls and it groans and it chews up stones. It spreads its wings and it does bad things. I tell you, Judge, we all better pray. Take that nincompoop out of my sight. Lock her up tight. This one 
is the fifth and last, and he better talk fast. Please let me go, Judge. I didn't know, Judge, that what I did was against the law. I just said what I saw. A horrible thing is coming this way. It's creeping closer day by day. Its eyes are scary. Its tail is hairy. Its paws have claws, and it snaps its jaws. It growls and it groans, and it chews up stones. It spreads its wings and does bad things. It belches flame. It has no name. I tell you, Judge, we all better pray. Liar, ninny hammer, dimwit dunce, to jail at once. Obviously, he doesn't believe these people. And they take him, drag him off with his little dog right there. And there's the judge. There's the judge sitting at the bench. And if you look really, really, really close in the window, you'll see something. What can it be? I don't know. Let's turn the page and see. Oh, look in the doorway. Look at the judge. He looks a little surprised, doesn't he? <gasps> what happens here? Oh my, oh my. That horrible thing that was coming this way has come and the judge didn't believe those people. And look what happened to him. What do you think is going to be on the next page? I don't know. Let's see. And here are the five prisoners. But they were released from jail because they were telling the truth. And that's the judge.